tip right up here for the greatest show on earth, the washed up loser Olympics 2022. The Russians couldn't carry their national flag because CrossFit doesn't recognize the regime. Instead, they're representing a regimen that makes it hard to recognize that you even left. No matter where they come from, CrossFitters stand united because working out like morons is their red flag. Giving you the latest on this invasion, I'm Asian reporter and returning champion Elgin Tensity, aka the law firm of Traplin, Traplin, and McGriddle. And they're off. The 2022 Noble CrossFit Games are underway. The athletes sprinting to the rig where they will complete 75 toes to bar. If you're watching this without context, then you're probably wondering if they're going to need those helmets for another part of the event, or if they're just speds. Yes. To start this first one mile, then we got a wreck in the back. Not sure who that was who fell off her bike, but that caused a little bit of a log jam. That blonde really crashed and burned. Who does she think she is, Anne Heche? Fortunately, she'll just walk away with a scrape. Also, the men didn't have an impact in the rear that caused the rash. The world's dealing with enough of that as it is. For this, it's slightly uphill, very loose gravel pit. You want to be in a higher gear, which means you're going to get more distance per pedal stroke and more control of the bike itself. You should pick a lower gear when you ride uphill. I don't expect Chase Ingram to understand the drivetrain of a bike when his brain is a trike. Here comes Danielle Brandon. Looking to take eighth place in the event. What a great start for Danielle Brandon. I'm actually, I'm looking at her as one of my top athletes to look at. He should have been looking at how many laps she completed. Adams averaged about 3 minutes and 20 seconds per lap and lapped Brandon at around 25 and a half minutes. Brandon would have had to make up that lap in about 2 minutes. In addition to counting her laps short, someone at the finish line mistakenly let Brandon go. Top tier strength athlete, sometimes there's a cost to that as far as balance in your fitness. The irony of your take. Sung of Choi taking a bit of a spill there, trying to get her bike sorted. And the thing there is she was holding the middle frame of the bike. If you're going to hold, put one hand on, it's really actually the bike seat that you want to be hand, have your hand on. If you're going to have your hand near the handlebars, just grab the handlebars themselves. If you're going to fall during a bike race, at least be on the bike. Good job, you're less coordinated than a 79-year-old man. Also, that pointless technique definitely would have saved her a few seconds after doing an extra lap. I am especially disappointed with this math performance. If I wanted to see a helmet head go as fast as possible without knowing when to stop, I'd watch Forrest Gump. Let's see if the men adhered to CrossFit's pillar of accuracy by counting to five. I believe we're just on the heels of the Tour, Tour de France finishing about a couple weeks ago. Don't do it. Don't compare this amateur hour event to the tour. And in front, some sense, you know, I mean, course. you see the CrossFit Games mimicking, you know, different stages, different tests, big climbs, fast sprints. And it's really that, you know, despite the number of events we may have over the course of the weekend, the extra event is the totality of the test itself. Here's another similarity. You can see Trek bikes in the tour and in the games, which is like seeing the same brand of tennis balls at the U.S. Open and the Weinstein trial. No, that's not right. That's not this right. This has got to be a mistake yeah. for Spencer Panjic. He's running that's across the right. finish line. Jukic is going to turn around. There is some confusion no. here. Panjic and Jukic only did four laps as well. Panjic still placed fifth after the penalty, only 28 seconds behind second place. Also, Jukic didn't know if he should return to the course, but got flagged in by the judge. CrossFit will never be a sport when it has problems that local 5Ks and high school track meets don't have. Whenever anyone refers to CrossFitters as athletes and I say they don't count, this is not what I mean. How are you going to approach this? What are you going to do? I mean, obviously, we don't want to speculate, but yeah, definitely those athletes completely missed a lap. If only CrossFit had a designation for anyone who did not finish a workout. Instead, they added the slowest lap time to the recorded time for any missing laps in the recalculation of the final score. You can fail to complete a workout and still place higher than someone who completed it. If there's another bike race at the games, just cut your laps short. You can go faster than you normally would and save your energy for the next event in return for a slap on the wrist, even though your amazing time on the screen is fake like WandaVision. We now turn from skipping laps to skipping ropes. 75 reps unbroken. For you guys watching at home, they cannot miss. They miss at 74. They have to start all the way over back at zero. And the weirdest part about single-unders... And Toomey just oh, no. 
That feel when she comes from the land of kangaroos but sucks at hopping. Oh and my TNT goodness. Does not move on. She placed 23rd. The penalty for missing a single under late in her set was greater than the penalty for missing a one mile bike lap in event one. There's no reason for a warm up like 75 single unders to be so costly. I haven't seen a more destructive single under 75 since Greg Glassman resigned. We are in the final round. And things are getting really complicated now. We still got the strict ascent on the pegboard for the athletes and then the double crisscrossovers crossovers followed by the pistols. But this, a handstand walk from a L position into a handstand crossing the parallettes themselves. Double under crossovers are obscure even by circus standards. Someone from the game staff should have demonstrated this party trick for the audience, but they really needed a 30 second shot of those parallel bars. Now on to the jump rope, 25 double unders with the crossover. They do not need to be unbroken. The judge no rep that for no reason. She's about one no rep away from asking to speak to the manager of the volunteers. All the women here are just trying to figure out how to string a couple reps together. Danielle Brandon looked like she was in a good rhythm early on. Most of them are still struggling. If I wanted to see people constantly get tripped up by crossovers, I'd watch the And One mixtape tour. Classic CrossFit Games, a movement that the competitors suck at doing and the judges suck at counting. As much as I like watching them self-flagellate, this should have been a more straightforward variation. Instead, they had to perform a huge gimmick just for eight of the ten finalists to hit the time cap. The crisscross group struggled from the jump, but there are still many stages for them to perform their ass-backwards routines. Event two is supposed to take place yesterday. It's taking place today. And Chase, to quote the Terminator, <laughs> run with me if you want to live. <laughs> Unlike John Connor in Terminator 2, the new games director couldn't prevent the disastrous Judgment Day. It would have been worse if he didn't reschedule this running and lifting event due to rain. A lot of people would have slipped under their weights and brought new meaning to the downfall of the resistance. First window is underway. Two minutes for a 200 meter run, 400 meter run, pardon me, and then Max jerks. Doing as many reps as possible of a lift isn't the max. It says max rep at the top of the screen, but that still hasn't been corrected on the official games page. Don't CrossFitters hear about AMRAPs during the level 1 certification course? It makes you wonder what kind of smooth brains they have running that thing. Now you don't have to wonder. Let's hear more from them now. The problem with lactic acid buildup is it starts to slow down those fast twitch mu muscle fibers if the long twitch ones can't take them out. And so looking at what athletes should be doing is whatever they can do to flush that system as best as they can before the next one because if that lactic acid builds up too much it's going to take away from that fast twitch or just say your power or ability to express that power for the push jerks when he referred to muscle fibers as long twitch he might have meant slow twitch i call them chase ingram twitch muscle fibers and everybody knows what i mean also, it's a myth that muscle fatigue is caused by lactic acid buildup, which he'd know if his skull didn't have so much water buildup. And so when you put that in, he's like, hey, sprint a mile. They're going to be running cumulative faster than the, basically their mile PR. You got to keep that into account. How do you feel after a dead mile sprint? Well, just like that, dead. You must be brain dead to compare a 600 meter run to a sprint. He can't possibly be this awful at making comparisons. Efficiency on the dip is Gabby Magawa's all over the place. So he's going to swing the feet and use that backswing as momentum to help lock it out. It's a, it's a little different kip. This is more, I mean, if you wanted to call it a glide kip like we would see on a bar. I guess he can. All kips are bad. This is the pinnacle of the movement because it basically forces the athletes into an upside down reverse strict, uh, strict press position. And the athletes are unable to rest their head on the ground at the bottom of each rep. There are much better ways to set this up. I'd prefer if they brought their heads down to bells. One ring for yes, none for no. This system worked for Hector Salamanca, and he was also willing to destroy his body just to beat someone. And you see that midline, that real big hyperextension. There's no way to tell if the call on the right was correct. All I know is that Gerard didn't finish. He was stuck facing the wall until the end of time like the cask of Amontillado. The challenge for the judges is the hair blocking that white line now Sigurd daughter got a no rep for that you can see she's definitely short in heat one those didn't count she thought she looked good but the judge lowered her score like kevin samuels these did count
With the bad camera angles and different judging criteria and hairstyles, this was a huge mess. If there's ever another event like this, competitors should buy extensions. It might help them finesse some reps in close cases. In other words, if you encounter this at the games, your hair should be like your parents watching you play a real sport and be let down. For all my gamers out there, we're engaged in some Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Test your might. Except in CrossFit's version, the steel breaks you. It is a front squat, so they gotta get below parallel, and you can clean the first rep, so you don't have to catch it in a power position in squat isolated. Heinrich Hapalina just got buried by that barbell. Based on his current path, his power position is grounded. To top it off, he failed to slide the bar over his stomach like Lizzo on a roller coaster. And George are stepping up to the deadlift. This is such a wide shot that I almost missed that imbecile dumping the bar and running away. With all its money, CrossFit recorded that ding-dong ditch worse than a ring cam. First heat has begun. And Alice Gazan. Noble games, you mean immobile frame? That feel when your opponents are bolting down the lanes while you look like you're bolted to the lane. Are uh, the first three women to the barbell? Barnhart had a reset at the bottom, and Spiegel just got spit out the back. Between her lack of power and resemblance to a marionette, she's in a puppet state in more ways than one. Another year, another games, where Adams gets no repped into oblivion and has to stare at the floor. When it comes to lift attempts, the kid's been missing so long that there should be an amber alert. Women on the competition floor are going to get capped. And snapped. Back nine, you mean cat spine? I don't mean feng shui when I say that her bar and column were not positioned for success. CrossFit's new games director didn't program the events as recklessly as his predecessor would have, but sustaining bodily harm, like bad form, is the norm in competitive exercise. The Will Smith and Chris Rock incident this year taught us that you shouldn't get hurt over a joke. Unless the joke is that you do CrossFit, in which case getting hurt is the point. Zero! Like the video and subscribe to the channel, now.